small jig head, an eighth in an ounce, and a uh, small gulp shrimp works really good for the triple tail. Live shrimp's always best, but if you don't have them, this is uh, the second best. So really you need not there. Jig heads that have the little wire keepers on there. That's really keys for these gulps so that they, once it slides up, it won't fall off. Jig heads without that are not real good with the gulp shrimp. That'll, that'll get them. Alright, we just saw a nice triple tail on that buoy over there. We're going to put the trolling motor down so we can approach nice and slow and get the perfect position. That fish is not going anywhere. So, the key is just to approach and get the perfect distance where I can make the cast but not be too close. There he is. Oh, that's a big one. That's a real big one. <laughs> that's a real big one. That's a big one. That's a big That was cool. I can see him under there a little bit. We got up tied of it and just kind of hit the... Yeah, that's a nice one. Just hit the... Uh, anchor on the GPS trolling motor. And it's just holding us here in perfect position. Up tight of the buoy. I just uh, kept it there. Jigged it slowly. Look at this guy. That is a real nice one. There he is. <laughs> that is cool. Get the net gauge. These guys make their living just waiting behind any kind of debris. See them offshore a lot on the out in the blue water, floating on pieces of debris, boards or whatever that are floating by. And uh, but back here they stay on these little crab pots. You have to be 15 inches to keep. This guy's about 18. You don't even need to measure him. He's he's plenty big. All right, Let's find another one. Gotta be really careful with these guys. He's got razor gills right there. These are sharp. That's sharp. Really, not many places to hold them except like right under here. They will slice your hand open pretty good. Let's see where they get their triple tail name. But really cool. Those suckers are sitting right there behind that buoy. The buoy's right here, and they are just like right next to it, waiting for something to drift by. And then they just, it's gotta come this close from them, or they won't react. If it's out here, he won't leave the security of that ball to go get it. If it, you bring it by right there, he'll come over and eat it. So it's really good practice to throw on these guys and, and catch them. Good practice at sight casting. One of the best eating fish there is. Put them in a live well. That is cool. Love the triple tail. Fun thing to do, be able to sight fish, just run along, see them, cast at them. Really a fun way to it's been an afternoon. <laughs> 